Now you go ahead and speak. <clears throat> can you do it? Yes, I can. Because you know who's here. I am always ready. My name is Rumpel Forskin. I'm always ready. <laughs> if you're feeling sad and lonely, there's a service I can render. Call the one who <laughs> Call it, me. Explain Don't. it to me. Just, just take one second and it's seven years I've been with you guys. I know more about your dicks than anybody. No, no. Explain. Explain what happens when you hit the stage. Does it start pulsating? No, Does no, wait, it no, wait, wait, like, wait, wait, rear wait, up wait. and go, speak for me, speak for me? Wait. But you told him, I mean, I, you have, he you let him put his I hand didn't, between your legs. I didn't ask him Look to do that. Look at it as a form of puppeteering. There it is. It's like a Muppet without going in really deep. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Well, we're back. I know it's nothing. We've that certainly I... lowered the level again. <laughs> it's but, but it's I nothing that I planned. He started it. Because you know, I think to myself every year, I'm gonna find the greatest penis thing that, and you know, frankly, not having one, I don't think about it. So. <laughs> Hi, Pinky. Oh my God, you've got two eyes. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to the Holland Tunnel. Is that a dickhead? Yeah, that's a dickhead. Okay. Yes. All right. See ya. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'll no, stand it's okay. No, I'm a good friend. All right, good. Our next guest, now I have to... Oh, boy. <laughs> you okay? Don't it was good for me. Back. Hell of a tunnel, huh? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. What happened... Do you know what I just did in my pants because you jumped at me like that? Hello. Nah, don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. <laughs> Our next guest is an old friend of Comic Relief. Judy. Stop it. One of the... <laughs> See, here it is. Now I have to do a straight-ass introduction, and now it sounds like... Oh, like I'm making you... Well, you started talking I... about... Because I've been watching... Now, you guys have watched this show. How many dick jokes have we had? I... <laughs> Okay, no, no, no. That's what I said. I said the goddamn sky's the limit. Lorena Bobbitt, where are you when we need you? There it is. Uh-oh, no. Why? Welcome to Wild Kingdom. <laughs> By now that the game, there's a rain delay in the game, and Al and I are fishing. <laughs> My Al's assistant his... Carl will attempt to wrestle him to the ground. Al's got his... We're in a little skip. And they're good eating, too. Yeah, it's damn good eating. <laughs> Tastes just like chicken, if you really can fantasize. <laughs> you Is want... this generally what they look we like? We better do the damn intro. They're going to kill me. I'll go. I swear to God, I won't come back. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, but there's the last of me. Or Petey. All right. <laughs> and through it all, I stayed with you. Are you happy now? <laughs> Well, no, it was because going I, never so got, well. I never got the answer. I just have to know what is the secret of the dick. It's, no, there's no secret. There has to be a secret. It Nobody no... can talk about a dick that much unless there's something. I'm not there. him. No. Do you see me grab? I don't. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm Paul just... Winchell when he's on. I go. <laughs> I'm sorry. And he does this. You're right. I didn't do that. Okay. Our next guest. Jeez. <laughs> I got something in my eye. God damn. I'm so <laughs> get the out of here. I'm gonna get a hedge clipper and become moil. Take it away. Thanks very much. I think I have a malpractice suit here. You may. I went in for the vasectomy and damn thing just swelled up. I'll be out of here. Okay. You know the funny thing is, people having their driving test going around it. Okay. <laughs> You started this. I just wanted to know. I just wanted to know. I mean, I could talk about my vagina forever. No, please don't do that. All right. You've heard. Jesus Christ. Now, our next guest... Oh, don't I sound like a schmuck now? (laughs) 
Oh, really funny. <laughs> you get so fucking jealous. Oh, yes. This, we, I have, and you don't. That's what it is. Oh, there are many things that you have that I don't. All right. And now I have this introduction. That's right. And you don't. And I'm just here as, you know, Thank Blossom you. and Jessup. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, good. Our next guest, yeah, old man, is an old friend of yeah. Comic Relief, okay? He's one of the first to answer the call when we started this campaign back in the dimly remembered Reagan administration. He was the first comic to have his own concert on HBO, and since then, he's had five. Oh, Robin's not here. Oh, good. I can read his lines. Oh, and now, oh, everybody stand back. Ooh, oh, my God. Oh, oh. Why? Hello, Petey. Hi, Robin. <laughs> it's a living. <laughs> That's it. I've got kids. <laughs> Boy, the steady cam guy's exhausting. Okay. And for Comedy Central, he recently hosted a celebration of old movies. I can't do this joke. Robin! Don't bring him out, All right. All right. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Sparky? I'm ready, Mr. Christopher. How's that heart? Beating like a hummingbird, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. You know, it just kicked in. I just had 14 espressos, and God damn it, my colon's just saying, hello. Hey. Okay. Nothing like having a talking sphincter to say. Why are you yelling? You got the job. Okay. And for Comedy Central, he recently hosted a celebration of old movies called the Dead Comics Society. Where do they get these titles? I'll go now. <laughs> He's back to the back with the report from his own personal. Warns him going hysterical. Warns him, please fuck for Christ's sake. Please. Is that a command? Can you take me up on it? No, never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Do not try this at home. Please do not try this at home. Yes. We're about to introduce one of the great comics of our time. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Robert, Robert Klein. Klein. One of the more unusual introductions I've received in my life. I feel today like the luckiest man in the face of the ice. Right, 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 right. I may have been introduced to us by Robin's penis, 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 penis. And Cal Ripken Jr. Jr. may have broken my record, 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 record. But don't forget, I had more at bats. At... Anyway, uh, you want to know comic relief? There's one toilet in the holding room, 40 comedians waiting to take a piss. That's comic relief. <laughs> we have to work this out better for next year. Uh, $30 million has been raised so far in seven years. And, um, Yes, but but don't get the idea that that solves the problem. Tragically, it's a drop in the bucket. Thirty million. There's still plenty of homelessness. They've only been able to purchase four homes. They were shopping around here, unfortunately, for them. Um, it was a wonderful day today, sitting at the hotel watching the Fighting Irish. Uh, what a name for that team! The last Irishman that played on Notre Dame was in 1905. The team is 11 black guys and a Lithuanian kicker who they cheat for on the exams. You know, I, I'd, like to give, I, I'd like to give some credit to the St. John's Redmen, who are now the Red Storm. And don't think that's political correctness. It's just sensitivity to people's feelings. Redskins, Indians, Braves, come on. You know, with chance, how would you like to... Have the, your sacred rituals imitated by Jane Fonda and Ted Turner. Would I like it, a team, the New York Jews? Would I like to hear that? Come on, you heaps, fight down that bale. Let's go. With a cheer. Fight! 
you know. Uh, and I'd like to apologize on behalf of all Jews, the mistake we all make on Ash Wednesday with our Catholic friends. What's that schmutz on your part? Oh, I'm sorry, it's Ash Wednesday. You know, I, you got a little thick. Oh, it's Ash Wednesday. You know, it's just... I'm in perfect health, if you can see, after all these years. I wanted to bring my colonoscopy videotape. Uh, it's a beauty. Uh, it would have been, I, through Magic Cam, talked to the audience from my own colon, uh, which would have been, I believe, a cable first. Um, it was unbelievable, and I recommend all of you men, 45 and over, get it for crying out loud. It's nothing, really. They just take a camera with a light and put it a meter and a half up your ass into your colon. Sometimes hair and makeup goes along, too, and uh, a SAG representative. Now, how can you tolerate this? An exceptionally interesting cocktail composed of liquid Valium and some other nitroglycerin. So when this is happening, you don't give a shit. Uh, in fact, you can't give a shit. You haven't eaten in 62 hours, which is the downside of the procedure. But come on, men, get it. And I wanted to bring it here. We thought about doing it on my new HBO special, of Cheap Plug, coming up December 2nd. Um, it was great. We thought of the Conan O'Brien show. We wanted to put me in a toboggan and slide down my own colon. There are a lot of ways of doing it. There were a lot of good jokes that you thought you could do, which couldn't, you know, like up Schitt's Creek with a paddle, actually. I had a paddle. <laughs> anyway, it's art of a sort, like Maplethorpe, you know. Unfortunately, Maplethorpe was now dead. It was a great photographer, a little quasi-perverse, you know, with things sticking out of people. And this upset people like Strom Thurmond. Do you feel that like a picture of a man with a bull whip in his rectum is art, you know? Serrano put a crucifix in urine, so every other worthwhile thing that the NEA does, National Endowment for the Arts, goes down the toilet because of that. Come on. Anyway, uh, you're all wonderful to uh, to be here and um, to help. I thought I wind up with a little harmonica playing and. One eight hundred five two eight one oh oh oh. This has given me a lot of comfort over the years. Put it in my mouth, and the song is over. You are you still? I like these nice intimate rooms. The Cirque du Soleil is coming in soon. The trapeze is. And I smell elephant shit. Am I wrong? Uh, anyway, uh, this is, uh, it's never gotten me laid, but by and large, it's a very happy little instrument. And if you don't play it in an elevator, uh, I once put it in my mouth and breathed in and out, and it played a tune that reflected my breathing. Uh, I thought to myself, this would be a hell of a nurse's aid. The guy is sick in the hospital. The nurse can stick one of these in his mouth, hear how he's breathing, go away, play cards. Any problem? She hears right away, musically, if his breathing is right. And you code four, Dr. Klein, Dr. Klein, Dr. Curly, Dr. Mo. You come in, you save his life. If you die with one of these devices in your mouth, at least it ends on a cadence, an exhale. Very appropriate. It's a good way to go if you had to. Thank you so much for your...